This is Red Bank coming to you live from Vulcan Gas Company in Austin, Texas for a brand new episode of Kill Tony. Give it up for a Tony Etzke! Hello, everybody! <laughs> Brian Redband's here. People hey. make some fucking noise. We're here. Nobody has more fun than us on Monday nights, and you guys are at the right goddamn place. I'm excited to be here. How about a hand for the band that was just playing for you before the show started? That's the official Hill Tone Band. Uh, we're having fun here at the new uh, location of Kill Tony Vulcan Gas Company here on Chaotic 6th Street. Yes. Oftentimes, that's why I'm dressed like this, oftentimes this area is confused for Gotham City. It's basically the same place for people that haven't been on 6th Street before. It's all the fucking same. Boy, am I excited about this episode tonight. We have the great Matt Muling here on electric guitar, Michael Gonzalez on drums, and Deep Madness is back on bass guitar. Wow, listen to that. I got to have my first talk with D Madness in like a month tonight. He didn't make it to last week's taping, and I told him, D Madness, I don't know if you know this, but I got into a little bit of trouble. <laughs> and D Madness goes, I didn't see a fucking thing. <laughs> We're all filled up on delicious food thanks to Yoni at Best Barbecue Show. He feeds us every week from the delicious, and I'm telling you, you guys are Kill Tony fans. You have to support CM Smokehouse at Bolden Acres. If you guys don't know, I double dog dare you. They make a new taco. They just started this. I tell you about this? A jalapeno popper taco. They fucking grill a jalapeno. They open it up, right? They cut it open. They grill it. They flatten it. Then they put it flat on a flour fucking tortilla. They grill that tortilla a little bit. They take fancy cheese, grill that shit a little bit. Did I tell you about this? Yeah. I have to go there like every other day now yeah. to eat this. I just wake up sweating thinking about it. What's that? My first time knowing. His first time knowing. He has no idea what's going on back there. D Madness, D Madness responding to jokes from two minutes ago back there. Uh, <laughs> got some cakes made for us by Shay Z at midnight. It's my birthday, everybody. So this is very yeah. exciting. Thank you. You guys are in for a special treat tonight. I mean, we're going to have so much fun. But before we get tonight's episode started, here's a little bit more for, about the amazing sponsors that made tonight's episode available for you here right now. Hey, y'all. After spending last summer on the sidelines, we're all ready to get back out there and make this year's lounge season an epic one. So Bespoke Post is here to take your sand, sun, and surf game to the next level with a new lineup of must-have Box of Awesome collections for guys. I'm telling you, this stuff is so cool. I got some freaking, I got some knives, I got some uh, cool whiskey glasses and a whiskey bottle decanter thing. I got a amazing new pen i mean this stuff it smells good it looks good it's like real like cool man stuff and it makes me feel like a man and you know that's hard for a guy like me to do but it makes me feel manly brian what's in your box well man i got a bunch of pancakes and like some cool <laughs> syrup <laughs> no no it's great to get started take the quiz at boxofawesome.com your answers will help them pick the right box of awesome for you they release new boxes every month across a ton of different categories it's free to sign up and you could skip a month or cancel anytime each box costs only $45 but has over $70 worth of gear inside get 20% off your first monthly box when you sign up at boxofawesome.com and enter the code kill tony at checkout that's box of awesome all one word boxofawesome.com Code Kill Tony for 20% off your first box. Are you guys ready to start tonight's episode or what? Guys, I see people that are just here for the scene not going crazy. Are you guys ready to start Kill Tony tonight? The great Ryan J. E. Belt's drawing tonight's episode all the way back in Los Angeles, California. Every print of every show is available at ryanjebelt.com. 
Tonight's guest, ladies and gentlemen, you're here on a special night. It is his first time ever being a guest on Kill Tony. I'm dressed like this because this tonight shall be chaos. I present to you, for his first time ever in Kill Tony history, your guest tonight is Alex Jones. <laughs> Holy shit. What? What? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Woo! Power! Unlimited power! That's a Ric Flair. Woo! That's right. Woo! This battle station is fully operational. Alex motherfucking Jones, an Austin, Texas icon and one of our favorite humans on the planet. Well, it's good to be here exercising the First Amendment with a lot of great Americans. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Woo. I got to tell you, I had dinner with this guy. It was me, him, Ron White, Red Band, Joe Rogan. We had dinner a few weeks ago. If you want to know who holds court at that dinner table, it's Alex motherfucking Jones. No, it wasn't. You were cracking us up the whole time. It's absolutely true. Fucking, he's the alpha amongst alphas. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Joe kicked my ass. It's not true. I'm in a headlock. No, I was surprised. Joe sits back and listens to you. I've never seen him listen to anyone like he listens to you. Normally, he's the chatty one. I'm excited about this. Welcome to the show, Alex. We're going to have a lot of fun here tonight. I'm super fucking pumped. We have uh, delicious beverages made by... How about a hand for the Vulcan Gas Company staff here? Vulcan Gas Company, that's pro-free speech, baby! That's right. Bringing it back, baby! That's right. Woo! Screw any venue that isn't pro-speech, not to name any names. Antones... But uh, Vulcan Gas Company serving delicious cocktails tonight made by Don Julio. These, that's Don Julio. If anybody's in the mood for tequila, drink what we're drinking. It's Don Julio. Yeah, it is. Man. And uh, the Red Rose, Yellow Rose, the best strip club in all of Austin, Texas. I would know nothing about that. <laughs> you guys ready to start the show? You guys ready to see a stand-up comedian? Let's start it. Let's get ready to rumble. Before we go to the bucket tonight, let's start the show with something special, something you're used to. One of the newest residents of Austin, Texas, just moved here a couple weeks ago. Ladies and gentlemen, he's the one and only, the big red machine, regular William Montgomery. All right. Woo. A brand new minute from one of the longest standing regulars of all time. Here he is one more time for William Montgomery. Everybody. Yeah. Uh, first off, Alex Jones, I've been obsessed with you since waking life. Uh, I always thought you were animated. That's a good deep cut for people that know that movie. Um, Hunter Biden will soon be teaching a course at Tulane University in New Orleans about fake news. If it were a course in future news, he'd discuss the future headline, Hunter Biden arrested in New Orleans. My girlfriend describes me as mysterious. I like to describe her as a bad detective. Hard to believe that the movie Pearl Harbor was worse than the actual Pearl Harbor event. Imagine if they made a 9-11 romantic comedy. Dax Shepard and Selena Gomez make out as cancerous ass showers down on them blocks from the World Trade Center. This week, Joe Biden said he really identifies with black people, saying, hell, my son's a crack addict, too. Wow. Fuck yeah, William Montgomery, everybody. Shout out to whoever's changing the lighting in the first 10 minutes of the show for yeah, no fucking fuck reason whatsoever. That? I mean, really, there's really no need to make any adjustments to anything. There you go. You could stop there, I guess. Is that how it was? No, it's like really dark now. What you guys remember how it was when we did the fucking camera test earlier? Let's just get this gorgeous lady in black latex up here. I swear what the God. fuck is going on? Everybody wants to fucking do a job that doesn't need to be done here at Vulcan Gas Company. Fucking, oh, wait, let's change the lights. Let's change them. Let's change them. Don't fucking touch anything. Don't touch anything! 
D Madness doesn't even like the lighting change you did. So you got to get rid of the reds, guys. That's the one thing that we told you, and somehow you switched it to that eight minutes in. Get rid of the reds. There you go. Thank you so much. How about a hand for the lighting guy here at Vulcan, everybody? Yeah! Yes! Woo! Maybe turn up the lights now a little. Yeah, All maybe right, turn Jesus. It up I feel a like I'm bit. in the dark over here. Really great move. Whoever leaned on the fucking lights during the show. Awesome shit. William, luckily it distracted. <laughs> I have no idea what you talked about. <laughs> you, who, how many of you want to see him start over from the beginning, huh? I'm just kidding. I'm Political kidding. Political jokes. They were good. I'm kidding. Alex, you were paying attention. What did you think about William's set? This is your first time seeing this I thought set. they were very cerebral jokes. <laughs> Which is not lost in a great crowd, but I'm a little drunk, so I missed part of it. And if I only caught half of it, it's a little, if you said, it's a daytime joke, not a nighttime joke. But it was all very, actually, very well executed. Better than I can write, so, you know. Hell yeah. I love cool. it. William, welcome back to the show. You're here every week. Well, how's life been going? What's been happening, it's pretty dude? good. I just discovered uh, something called coffee. Ooh, you started I've drinking. been drinking it so much this past week. Okay. okay, for those of you that don't know, William was the biggest uh, biggest uh, mess on the show for a very long time, and he got sober two weeks ago, everybody. <laughs> How about a hand for William Sobriety? A hot red mess. He really was a big red fucking disaster. I was always fucked up. He was fucked up. Yeah. He was doing fucking blow and drinking at 11 a.m. and just was going, as you could see by... Replace his, it with coffee. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, look, if he laid on his back, he looks like the AMC stock graph. <laughs> just ups and downs and ridges everywhere. I don't get that. I know you don't. That's another very cerebral joke. <laughs> <laughs> so, William, you've been drinking coffee. Does it have you feeling good? Yeah, it has me feeling real uppity. It's mm. not quite cocaine, but I enjoy it. <laughs> it's pretty good. Are you, uh, like, addicted to it? I know a lot of people that have quit uh, drinking, they just become addicted to other things, like coffee. I had exactly. five... <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I was just saying exactly. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. He's kind of a scary looking vibe. Don't beat me up. Don't eat me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, William, how about the answer to Red Band's question? I had five cups today. Five. Ooh, cups. Look at that. Are you shitting like a wild man? I actually haven't in a couple of days. Oh. Okay. I don't know what's going on in my lymph nodes hurt. Oh, that's oh. good. No, that's that's always doctors say when your lymph nodes hurt. Nothing better than that. <laughs> I love it, William. <laughs> Did some jokes tonight. How's Austin treating you? You find anything else you love about Austin, Texas this week? It's been good. I, went to, I had a buddy. Uh, we went to Lake Travis this weekend for his bachelor party. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah. Seemed like a nice lake. Yeah. <laughs> Seemed I, pretty nice. I found a place I love today. Uh, I was going to, uh, I was going to uh, go buy some fucking cowboy boots or something like that, and then I realized I can't do that till tomorrow, and I got lost on Congress Street, ended up stumbling into whatever this fucking costume shop is you guys have here. <laughs> what the fuck is that place, man? I was like inside of a never-ending story. I, w I had no intentions of dressing like this tonight. Next thing you know, a fucking hundred and fifty dollars later, I got the new suit I'm wearing to weddings and shit. <laughs> Austin has the coolest fucking shit. It is so weird. In LA, you could drive any direction for an hour and not find one place as cool as that rinky dink little costume store. I was almost a fucking rodeo clown tonight. I was almost a matador. I was almost a circus ringleader. Broke These back. all could be future episodes, by the way. I might just show up there every Monday and fucking go crazy. You ever dress up like anything silly, Alex Jones? I mean, Bill Hicks, right? Exactly. No, actually, well, I was Bill Hicks before. And then I staged my death, and then it became Alex Jones in 1993. <laughs> it's actually true. No, it's true. I love no, but listen, Lake Travis, people talk about downtown Austin. It's fine. It's great. The zombie, homeless people, all the rest of it. But there are some cool restaurants, cool places like this place, but... Austin is like Lake Travis and all the other stuff around it. That's what's cool. Very cool. So you discovered all that out there and got really drunk. I did. Yeah, I actually got wasted. I broke my sobriety <laughs> on Saturday night. I got fucking wasted. He's kidding, everybody. He's joking, everyone. I got Here's fucking. for getting wasted. <laughs> Buy more drinks. <laughs> right. William Montgomery, you did it again. Another brand new minute from William. Oh, We're going to keep it moving along. There he goes. William Montgomery, everybody. You guys ready to go to this fucking bucket, huh? 
Anything could happen. It could be you I pull out of the bucket. Wait, I think we should bring up one more person. What? I think we should bring up one more person. All right. Oh, how about our friend Joe Rogan, everybody? Oopsie Daisy. Duncan Trussell, bitches. Hey! Respect. <laughs> Austin, Texas, we're making it happen, bitches. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Powerful Joe Rogan and Duncan Trussell have joined the chaos. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Who has more fun than us on a Monday night? Absolutely fucking nobody is the answer. And you guys are just in time for the first... What are you wearing? What happened? I was just talking about it. You just missed it. I, I, I ended up stumbling into this awesome, awesome costume shop earlier. I don't even know. What's the name of it? Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds? Is that right? Lucy, you know that place? Lucy Diamonds. in Disguise. There you go. Shout out to that fucking place. You can get lost in it. It's 37 years old. It's had the same owner the entire time. I had so much fun. I almost dressed like they have costumes for anything. Anyway. I like to have you have one glove on. Yeah. I'm the, uh, I'm the Joker Michael Jackson. It's kind of cool. It's your own thing. Hell yeah. Can, uh, I, can I say something real yeah, quick? Yeah, absolutely. The great Duncan this is, Trussell this is, a, is this is an embarrassing thing to admit. I walk, this is the first show I've been at in... 16 months and wow so so i walked in and i'm like oh my all these people like the, all these people this is embarrassing to me i i started crying no, it's like, not I, it was so so weird humanity's like, back fuckers <laughs> really weird like but you know one of those cries you don't think you're gonna do like all of a sudden there's just like tears like holy like, wow. It's, it's the a... tears of a super spreader. Yeah. You're feeling it. <laughs> You're feeling it. <laughs> I love it, Duncan. This is what we do all the time. This is just what we do on Mondays. How many of you think Duncan should think about moving to Austin, Texas? Wait. Huh? Thank you. Thank you. No, no, no. Wait. Wait. Oh, my no, God. This no. is pro wrestling. Wait. You got me wrong. Wait. You know why I started crying, don't you? Oh, because you wanted to go home? Because you people aren't wearing masks. <laughs> So I just started weeping. <laughs> I love it. Well, you guys are just in Look time. Look at Alex Jones. He's like, he's going to punch me. <laughs> it's a joke, Alex Jones. Oh, I totally agree with you. I love it. I'm going to get you. <laughs> get over here and sit on my lap. Get <laughs> It's a scary look. He's serious, too. What, what's with the scrolls? What's with these scrolls? What's yeah, going on here? Wondering. These are new uh, brand... Okie dokie. These are, uh, we're just adding microphones as we go. Jesus it's okay. Christ. It's okay. Duncan we're... and I are so high right now. <laughs> oh I want God. some of that it's weed. Almost, we're almost <laughs> imperceivably high. Pull the weed out. We just did a three and a half hour podcast and just got in a car and came over here. And the whole way over, we're talking about woolly mammoths and... <laughs> Hollow Earth. Hollow Earth. Earth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's we, the dumbest conversation I've ever had in my life. You know what, Waco... I loved is, every second of it. Waco's the biggest woolly mammoth museum in the world up there. It's a giant woolly mammoth dig. <laughs> they made it erupt, sorry. Don't beat me up. You, it's a good point, though. <laughs> I want some of that Joe Rogan weed. It's need, always good. You don't Get, want any of this weed, I'm telling you. It's yeah. terrifying. The weed he always gives me is the best. Joe Rogan weed. Joe Rogan weed. We did name. Nope. I reject uh, that. I'm going to pull a name out of the bucket. We're going to watch them do 60 seconds uninterrupted. And then we're gonna Wait, I'm yeah. sorry. I came up here. Joe's like, do you want to go on stage? Stay and up I'm here, thinking, Duncan. I'm thinking, I got to pee so bad. Okay. But I'm like, well, yeah. Go, go pee. pee. Go pee. Come, come back. Yeah. Go pee and then come go back. Go pee and come back. We'll be here for you. Duncan Trussell in his weak bladder, ladies he's, and gentlemen. He's crying. He's peeing. There's bodily we fluids drank. everywhere. <laughs> We drank 18 beers. <laughs> we drank whiskey. We are so fucked up. It's, this well, podcast, I'm jealous. This is going to be the end of my career, this podcast. <laughs> we need more. This more. is going to be the one that sticks. We were so barbecued. It was so ridiculous. I love we it. We just strolled over here. I'm like, oh, we're here. <laughs> like, I didn't even know we were here when we sat down. I wasn't sure. 
Well, we're in it. You're, on, you're in for the ride of your life right here. We're going to pull a name out of the bucket. This is crazy for whoever gets this lucky. We had over uh, like 100 comedians sign up for the chance to get pulled out. Anything can happen. You guys ready for this? Let you, you want to Joe reach in there? We saw William. He's consistent. But now it begins. Anything could happen. Your first comedian getting an uninterrupted minute tonight that's not a regular goes by the name of Charles Adams Jr., everybody. Charles Adams Jr. Oh, yeah, we know Come Charles. We love Charles Adams Jr. All on this right. show. Come on. What's up? Okay, I ain't going to cuss nobody out tonight. I know what y'all thinking. Damn, Kimbo Slice tells jokes. Oh, you don't believe me? That's real taco meat right there, baby. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, real talk. The other day I was in my uh, classroom and one of my students walked past me, right? And we had to still wear our masks. He walked past me. I was like, damn, man, did you wash your hands after coming from the bathroom? He was like, yes, sir, Mr. Charles. I was like, damn, that must be me. So I took my mask off. I was like, oh, shit, that's my breath. <sighs> my breath been smelling like that for that long? Jesus Christ. I went to my hygienist. She was like, yeah. She went to clean my teeth. She was like, you've been tossing salad, huh? I was like, yeah. <laughs> been trying to be a vegan for a little minute. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? <laughs> That's all I got right there. Good stuff. All right. There it is. Exactly a minute from Charles Adams Jr. We love Charles on this show. You've been on a couple What's times. Up? Always fun. What's up? Took that Kimbo Slice joke I made about you and used it for yourself, huh? I'm trying to get paid, baby. You're goddamn <laughs> okay. right. You're, that's the whole point. I, I wish more people would do that. I make Improv. Fun of, yeah, I make fun of these people. And only the smart ones take it. They make fun of me so much. Fuck it. Fun fact, for those of you uh, just watching or listening to the podcast, the lighting guy is still fucking with the lights. Uh, <laughs> Just, I mean, like, it almost seems unbelievable at this point, hey. but, uh, but it is As true. long as he got the light on me, because I'm pretty dark. Yeah, he is. He turned up, he turned <laughs> up the whites for you. He's Real like, chocolate right here, baby. The lighting guy. Okay. Yeah. Actually, I around. would make a joke, but I don't think I'm allowed to anymore. Let's just keep it moving. <laughs> uh, use your imagination. Damn. It's Use all good. Your I don't give a fuck. What was Tony gonna say that he couldn't say? Tony there? was about to call me a ninja. <laughs> yeah, damn. I don't give a shit. I got no, tough skin, wouldn't. baby. I was. I wouldn't do that to you. Yes, not sir. you, David Lucas. I would, but not you. <laughs> Hey, don't do that. I love it. So, Charles, you're a teacher. You're back at school. You're teaching kids, Hell right? No, today is my first day of vacation. Whoa, three months. <laughs> fuck them kids. Fuck yeah. School's out forever. I'm out, no. Just trying to get that Joe Rogan weed. <laughs> trying to get that what? I'm trying to get that Joe Rogan weed. You know, I'm trying to get high all summer. Oh, shit. Hell okay. Hell yeah. All I ain't right. doing shit. Okay. You smoke a lot of pot? Hell yeah. That's the reason why I became a teacher. What do you... <laughs> They don't I want drug. some weed. Hearing about all this weed. Give me some. Yeah. They don't drug we gotta, this. Can we get a joint up here for Alex Jones? Uh, Ooh. Smoke something. You're making a mistake. <laughs> Trust me. All right, let's you wait. Know to do it for 22 let's years. Wait don't, on the weed. Don't, you can't. Get out of Dodge while you can. Still making lighting Ooh. adjustments in Should an unprecedented about event. God. Tell it like it is, Tony. I'm telling you, man. Charles, I wish I had the way. I, I wish I had your commanding uh, stature. These people I mean, don't. They know. don't listen to me. They see me come up and with, with with one glove on. You gotta like, you know. You gotta do more push-ups, baby. All right, thanks, you know Charles. Saying? Thank you. Thank you. You gotta, you gotta twerk on you, motherfuckers. Whoa! Did you just flex? shut the fuck up, Charles, Charles? He's got the whole COVID right. thing going. Oh yeah, Charles, oh, that's, that's macho man. Jesus Christ, <laughs> oh, Charles, yeah, relax, brother. Charles, over here. Did, did you just flex your pecs? Did you just... Whoa! I called it. You trying to get me laid tonight. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I call that... That's my chest twerk. Oh, <laughs> shit. That's pretty good. That's a... <laughs> you looking too hard, dude. Looking too hard. Joe, what Face you... turn on red. Stop it. Joe, what do you think about this guy's uh, muscles? That's unusual. <laughs> I mean, I'm thinking, you know, when someone does something, you're like, I don't think I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, man, Joe. Have you ever I seen, I seen Joe Rogan but do this? I don't have that kind of free shit. time. 
You've been yeah. doing the splits and shit. Yeah, but there's like, there's no fuck? value to doing that, so he doesn't yeah. know how to do that. Oh, like it okay. doesn't it doesn't it's, do anything. It's mine over titty. <laughs> <laughs> it's like getting really good at cricket. <laughs> <laughs> Does that come oh, up? Oh, man. Charles, awesome. you've been on this show a couple times. Is there anything that you've thought about since Third your last time. appearance that we haven't talked about about your life or about you that we should know about? Not really. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Great fucking answer. I mean, no. I mean, I like Are you the you. lighting guy here? That's a great I, answer. <laughs> You're, we're still on I the air, I just appreciate folks. being on this stage with you guys every time I get up. And, you know, it's a, it's a draw out of the bucket. So I'm just here to have fun, baby. That's right. You know what I mean? That's right. You, know? you don't have any of your own kids, right, Charles? Say what? You don't have any of your own kids? Hell no, I pull out, baby. You pull out. Strong. I pull out even when I wear a condom. <laughs> Is that true? Do you really do that? Yeah, you can. They I can bust on you. <laughs> Wait, what? They bust. They bust, yeah. They bust at Climax. You got to pull them out, pull out Climax. Why don't you just get clipped then? Have you ever thought about just getting clipped? I don't even know what that is. What? Oh, you're talking about that? Hell, hell no, I heard your balls swell up and shit. I don't no, know it that. doesn't. I don't know. I don't want no scissors by my shit. <laughs> I don't, I don't think this conversation is legal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the middle of you, and I'm a guy. I feel harassed. Charles, oh, what you. exactly do you teach at school? I'm curious. English. Periods. English. Bro. Periods? Yeah, <laughs> damn. No, not sex ed. No, I English? teach English. Yeah, I'm in the English department. I work in the English department, so I'm in multiple classrooms. And multiple, you know. So you're I a put, Shakespeare fan. I pretty much fuck up all the bad kids that's fucking up in English department. You know, that's too many run on sentences, dog. Get the fuck out of that class. Oh, okay. Come on, yeah, there you go. No punctuation. So you're nothing. like the scared straight guy or something I mean, like I, that. I, <laughs> you need to get your fucking English together. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to end up like me, pulling out with condoms on. <laughs> That's right. Uh, your hair going to fall out. You're going to start growing shit on your uh, face. You don't want to do that. Charles Adams Jr., you're so much fun. This is your third time, I do believe, I on believe. the show, right? I can't believe it. Always fun. All right. This is what the I show's all it. about, baby. Charles Adams Jr. of Carl's yeah. There he goes. One more time for Charles I'm Adams out. Jr. Hey. Charles, Charles, Charles. This is an official Kill Tony joke book just for you, made by the great Adrian Cavazos. He's at Bonesai with a Z, Bonesai, on you Instagram. giving them joke books? Look at these things. Look at the that. Joke books? Smell that. Oh. That's real leather. Smell that leather, That's Joe. That's fine leather. That's the real fucking deal right there. If Very they're good, cool. they get a full-size one, and if they suck, they get one of these little ones. You'll see that happen for sure. Any moment. It's Duncan Trussell taking a shit? Is he uh Yeah. I think Duncan <laughs> Trussell is scared. <laughs> yeah, where'd he go? He's trying to get his equilibrium. All right. This is definitely uh -huh. a new name, everybody. This is a new name. I would remember if I saw this before. Make some noise for your next comedian, J.P. Puthin Vitil. Puthin Vitil. J.P. Is next on Kill Tony. Pussyville. Here Pussyville. he comes. He's got a steady jog. Here he is. J.P. Puthine Vitil. One more time for J.P., everybody. Come on. Hello. Uh, I'm a virgin, same as you. Um, I, uh, nobody ever believes me when I tell them I'm a virgin. They, they look at me like, you're not really a virgin, right? What more should I be doing? I look like a person who has multiple oatmeal recipes bookmarked. <laughs> My, uh, I don't know. I think, I don't really know which way a straight swing. I think I might be straight-ish. I don't know if that is something I can take to my father. Uh, he's just, he's really old. He just turned 50. I don't know why. I don't know why he didn't have to. Uh, I'm young. I'm 24. I don't feel like that's super young. You know, I've lived through three Spider-Man 2s. That's not nothing. Um, I, uh, I mean, I, I, uh, I'm upset. I don't, I'm sorry. I, my, uh, there we go. Wow, JP, who's in the team? All right. I fucking love you. Hi, thank you. I love Mercedes you. on stage, <laughs> on deck. 
<laughs> what? <Hey. laughs> why? Why? Why would that be? Is that be? the kind of why? strippers you like, Alex? I, <laughs> I like it. I I'm having a hallucination. Sense. It's a beautiful stripper. I'm looking at him. Oh, look at her dance, the beauty, the pole. Oh, <laughs> look at the style, the elegance, the grace. Okay. Uh, Mercedes JP. on stage. JP, how do you say the your last name? What the fuck is in this bottle? PCP. What the fuck is in that bottle? How do you say your last bottle? name? It's Puthenvitel. 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 Yeah. What, you can't see that's a beautiful woman? How <laughs> you people are crazy. The JP, Spider-Man welcome to the show. It's really funny. Thank Very you. Funny. <laughs> An unbelievable set. I absolutely loved you. How long have you been doing stand up comedy? Four years. Four years. Yeah. All of it here in Austin, Texas? Uh, this is my week. I'm in from LA. You're in from Los Angeles? Yeah. How come we never saw you at Kill Tony in LA? I committed more recently. Committed more recently. So yeah. you were doing shows in like Los Feliz, Silver Lake, things yeah. like that? Uh, I can tell that you, little shit, son yeah. of a bitch. <laughs> Look at you. Uh, Look at everybody comes to daddy in the end. <laughs> Yeah. Portia comes to daddy. You're goddamn right. It's hard to get a following in that alt comedy scene, yeah, isn't it? Ah, yeah. Hard other. to sell a fucking ticket, isn't it? <laughs> JP, welcome, 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 welcome to the show. Is it true that you're a virgin? I am. Wow. What? A, that's incredible. How about a hand for him, everybody? Here's to JP. Portia, get on over here. I want a table dance. <laughs> JP, when's, have you, how far have you gotten with a girl? No, no, I've never been on a date. You've never been on a date? Have yeah. you ever kissed a girl? No, I don't know any really well. Really? Uh, Is there, you know what, let's do something fun here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, oh, these ladies right here. Oh, yeah. Guys. This is a famous uh, segment on Kill Tony called Kiss Me. JP, this is the part where I ask, everyone knows. I mean, look at us on a Monday. Everyone knows Kill Tony is the best comedy fans in the world, right? Yeah! So with that said, is there a lady out there that would be willing to come up here and give JP a big, wet fucking kiss in front of this audience? Come on down here. Come on down. Come down. Come on down, JP! Here we go. Now the only deal I'll, is the I'll, only I'll, the only deal the only thing I ask in return of you guys witnessing this guy's first big fucking wet smooch is that when it happens you guys have to go fucking crazy. Deal? Ah! Ah! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Oh! 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 Whoa! Yeah! Woo! Hey, wait, wait, wait! wait. Woo! Get her Woo! back up here! Get her Woo! back! Get her Woo! back up here! The show is over. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. What's her name? Don't run away, Joe. We're trussling. I'm never gonna meet her again. I love that. <laughs> All right, now how many of you want to see JP get his first ever lap dance in the history of his life? Hold on. From the red rose, yellow rose, I present to you Jennifer, everybody. Sit down there, JP. Where's Jennifer at? Is Jennifer, Joe's going to find Duncan. Is, is Jennifer the right name? No, it's no, that's not Jennifer. I met her outside of the room. She's right back here. Sit down, JP. Okay. Sit down, M- Portia. Move, move your fanny pack to the side. Yeah. Hold on one second. We're going to play some music here any fucking second now. Jesus Christ. There you go. Here we go. There you go. JP. <laughs> what do you what what, type, what song do you want? JP. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, wait, 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 JP, move your fucking fanny pack to the side. Yeah. I don't want it. <laughs> 
<laughs> what? Yeah, you didn't even look at them in the you eyes. Ladies, you ladies show us what to play right now. I didn't know what I felt like doing. JP's scared to death. He's over here making eye contact with Alex Jones during the whole lap dance. I'm the one that called it. I called him Porsche. I summoned the ladies. I did it, see? I think he just came. <laughs> yeah. This guy's, look at him. He's fucking hard as a rock right now. Get over here. You want to sit in my lap, sweetheart? <laughs> not the girls, you. Can I stand? Am I here now? JP does not want to stand up right now. Don't be scared, JP. He's fucking bonered up to the gills right now. I think JP's got uh, had, had enough. Uh, how yeah. was that, JP? How was their first kiss and everything? I'm like not, I'm, I won't worry about it. <laughs> he's, he's, JP, you're a lucky devil. For those of you that didn't catch that, he's not making any fucking sense right now. Uh, <laughs> he's lost the ability to make sense in any way. Jennifer and uh, Kita. Kita. How about uh, Keenan? Keenan, wait. Everywhere. Keena, Nicole, and Nicole Jennifer, and right? Peanut. How about a hand for the ladies from the Red Rose and the Yellow Rose, huh? Official sponsors of Kill Tony. That was absolutely perfect. JP, stand back up for us. Right. There goes, uh, there go the ladies of the Yellow Rose and the Red Rose. Make sure you uh, go visit there anytime you want to go to a strip club. If you go anywhere else, you're no longer a Kill Tony By fan. the way, you might want to move the fanny pack over the dick now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, now's the time to move your... I mean, you literally cock block yourself, JP. <laughs> I've never seen anything quite like Those it. Those women were ready to go, son. <laughs> yeah, that was, that's good for them. <laughs> JP, so welcome to the show. You just got graciously rewarded. You've never Thank been you. on a date before. Meanwhile, now you have pussy juice all over you. You had women roll the red carpet out for you, son. Uh, thank you. So, JP, <laughs> let's talk about your life. What do you do for work? I, I edit board game tutorial videos. Oh, my God. You are a fucking loser, my friend. <laughs> no, he's not. He's seething with power! <laughs> I love it. So, JP, uh, what, el what else about you? What, are you what, what is your ethnicity? Puthin Vatil is I'm a hell of a last name. Half Indian. Half Indian. Yeah. Okay. What's the other half? White? Fuck, yeah, probably. Indian mother, white father? <laughs> Fuck, yeah, probably. Yeah, my, my dad's white. Uh, my dad's Indian. I don't remember. My dad's Indian. My mom's white. Okay. I'm sure your dad and mom would be great, uh, would be very happy to find out you don't even know what ethnicity You have are. done well, Lord Vader. I love it. What do you keep in that fanny pack? That is an overwhelmingly packed fanny pack. Is that where you actually keep your testicles? I had this weed, uh, and then like my phone and you have shit. weed in let's there. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. Open it up. Yeah. Let's see. How many I you want to? Police play? officers. Welcome to. Oh, here. Let's see it. I have like. Welcome small to a segment shit. we call "What Is in That Fanny Pack." All right, here we got go. a, a some kind of weed device. All right. There's a vape pen. Oh, there's a... We've got another piece of weed. There's the filter filter end of a joint. We've got yeah. notes. There's his hopes and dreams More right joints. there. What else? Come on, this open the big part. This guy's a regular Chicha Chong. Whoa. A phone. Okay. A wallet. There's a cough drop. All right. <laughs> Mercola. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's my no, you're a great piece. American. We love you. JP. I need all you kick, this shit. You kicked ass, brother. Here's all your weed. Thank you. JP, you have got to be one of the biggest pussies in the show's history. <laughs> this is almost incredible what's happening here. No, I absolutely love no. you, but you are just... That's like, the thing. Pussies are sexy. <laughs> I'm not lying about that. Thank you. You have a beautiful pussy. I appreciate it. We lost Joe I Rogan and Duncan Trussell. Well, uh, Duncan yeah. Trussell's <laughs> having a bad trip, so Joe Rogan ran out to find him. Duncan took too many hits of acid, but he'll be back later. I love it. You okay. have a beautiful vagina. Have a nice night. <laughs> <laughs> JP, such a fun interview. Congrats. How do you feel about your first kiss? How did that feel for you? I, it was, yeah, I, I like, yeah, sure. It was good. She was nice. Paging Joe Rogan and Duncan Trussell. Wait, wait, hold on. Wait a second. What do you, what do you mean it was nice? You she don't sound very She seemed serious. nice. I don't know. It felt like, like a fucking wet, cushy toy was on my mouth. <laughs> Like a dog toy. I don't know. Listen, when a hot slut is there, you attack it. I'm sorry if you're listening. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I didn't really They're going to give you a second round. They're going to give you a second round. What's your name, sweetheart? You're a legend. How about a big hand for Kate, everybody? Yay, Kate. 
What, and a, that, what a lady. Yes, Kate. How about one more time for J.P. Puth and Vitil, everybody? J.P. Yeah. Throw this in your fanny pack. There you go, buddy. J.P. Puth and Vitil. Wow. Woo. It, this is a oh it, my goodness! This is a hectic audience. I love it. Oh you guys goodness. having fucking fun out there? <laughs> All right. Oh, this guy's a legend on the show, everybody. This guy famously smelled feet. He's back again. Make some noise for David Flores, everybody. David Flores. Uh, step back from that. Let my my friend. friend. My friend. Here he is one more time for David Flores, everybody. Que pinche rollo la verga, Austin. Ew. Where are my wet bags at now? Oh shit, dog! I didn't know there was gonna be that many. <laughs> I checked you all in at the door. I didn't even see that many. <laughs> Damn, uh, wasn't expecting to get picked tonight, but uh, <laughs> I got a few jokes ready for y'all. Uh, I was dating this one girl, dude, and uh, I had to break up with her ass because her feet didn't smell. <laughs> But she had this crazy ass pussy dog. I don't know if y'all have ever had dumpster lid pussy before. Her pussy smelled just like a dumpster lid, like when you open it to go throw your trash and shit. And I was like, damn, girl, I don't know what the fuck to do with you. But uh, yeah, I swear, I, this bitch was related to a xenomorph or something because her, her pussy was so acid, I swear her pH was through the roof, man. Jesus Christ, David Flores up here. My goodness. I'm not used to getting one minute anymore, You gotta dog. be I'm careful sorry. talking shit about girls that you fuck. If they come to this show, they're like, I can't fuck that guy. Ridley Scott's about to hire you. If I fuck this guy, he's gonna talk about my everything. David, yeah. how's it going, man? Why are you wearing a flesh-colored shirt? <laughs> he's like Jay Leno on a safari. Yeah. It's laundry day, man. I was just trying to look good for y'all. Oh, my goodness. But, uh, you tried, I guess. <laughs> I'm dressed like this, and I'm like, why do you look so silly? <laughs> David, remind us, you're into smelly feet. We know that. You love the ladies. Uh, what do you do for work? i uh, actually been dooring here for the past, like, month. Dooring? I yeah. love that. Yeah. I never heard it referred to as that, and I... <laughs> I was dooring at the comedy store for four years, and I never called it that once. <laughs> dooring. <laughs> but I guess... That's adorable. Dooring the exploring over here. Just fucking... She. That set was something else. You really so. didn't expect to get pulled out? You signed up. You sign up every week, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah what? I yeah, I sign up every week. Uh-huh. I was standing up there kind of just uh, keeping watch or making sure... I feel like with this job, I get real jaded, man. Like, I swear, even after work and shit. Because like you see other people get to perform, and you get to see shows happen, and you're not on the shows, and that makes you mad, right? No, no. No, <laughs> no I mean, like, I feel like I'm an asshole now. Like, because I'm always checking people in. People, like, are always trying to use some sort of excuse why they're, you know. What's, the, what's the worst excuse you've heard working here to, so that somebody could get in? People would just be like, oh, my homies are in there, and, you know, they'll just think. That automatically gets them a pass or something. So that's the problem. It's not big enough venue. We need to get bigger. That's we need to build up. Goddamn right. Alex Jones is right. I'm positive he's right. But shit, dog, I've been fucking meeting a bunch of girls lately, and they're all, like, telling me, like, they know me from the podcast, and they You're want You're goddamn me, right, dude. Want me to smell their feet and shit. I'm like, damn, this shit was never so easy before. Before the podcast, girls have thought I let's was... Call, fucking... Let's call the girls up and want them to smell your feet. <laughs> Ladies, you want to smell your feet? It, very on, rarely does on a guest. TV. Very Let's do rarely it right does a guest read my mind. But uh, is there a lady out there that'll let uh, David smell your feet? It's there's got to be ready. someone. How about he smells mine? There's got to be someone out there. Come on, how about you, sweetheart? How about little Anna Nicole Smith over smell here? Smell uh, David's feet. 
There must be someone. How about this little fucking Tawny Katane looking, uh, this fucking fiery little cougar over here. How about that one? What's that little fucking, look at that little squidget walking by. Come on, come up here. Come up here. Let him smell your feet. Make some noise. Here she comes. Smell those feet. Oh, shit. Here we go. Here she comes, everybody. Get over there. This is the part of the show where David... Oh, look at the size of those boots, huh? These Let's are going to be... Let's get ready got to boots smell on. feet. Oh, shit. These things have been marinating deep. Look at those Birkenstocks. <laughs> That's and Birkenstock quality cheese. Hell, yeah. yeah. This you is about to be so- Dogecoin to the moon. Look at that. She want two feet. Look at that. Those dogs are barking tonight. <laughs> Look at these. Now, just a What's reminder. Hold He's on a second. Moving Let's go. Let's talk. Get rid of the music for a second. This is just a reminder that Don't David loves it me. if the feet smell bad. Right, David? Yeah. So this is literally a win-win situation for this. Uh, I can actually smell them from she here. Said, she I don't said know, she I don't know who this girl is. It's like Mary Kate, the night that they killed Heath Ledger or something like that. I, I smell it. Smells it. <laughs> What's your name, sweetheart? Haley, everybody. Hell yeah. Uh, He's about to smell Haley's feet. <laughs> You've heard of Haley's Comet? Haley's feet. Oh, shit. She's Here we go. Oh, too, she's dog. spreading those Damn. toes. David. She doesn't know that's my kryptonite, dog. <laughs> Fuck. She's getting you excited. It's your, I don't even have to ask her to spread it. It's em. your kryptonite when a girl spreads Look at those her. digits. Hold on. It's your kryptonite when a girl spreads her toes like that? Oh, here he goes. Ooh. What do you nah, think, David? Hey, that doesn't smell like nothing, dog. Might as well smell my fucking arm. And Hold on, wait, wait. Let me check and make sure it's not bad. Let me see. Hold on. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> it smells pretty. I gotta say, she's got some. She's got some clean ass feet. <laughs> yeah. That smells like. Uh, smells like Dove Bar or something or Irish Spring over there. I'm about to fucking vomit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That is hilarious. They don't smell at all, is the report. Yeah, they don't smell like anything. God damn. That's why you were so excited to come up here. Look at this one. Dude, Fresh and I know the there's shower. some good hooves in here. I checked it all in, so. Come on. There's got to be a lady here. Next, I'm going to smell Joe Rogan's feet. <laughs> Is there a lady in here with some real stinkers so we could get David? Come on. Come on. Two-thirds of the comedians up here tonight have gotten physical boners while on stage. Ladies Not and yet. gentlemen. We're trying to go three for four up here. Well, David. Oh, oh, that was hilarious, Alex. You smelling a random girl's feet might be one of the funniest things in the history of the show. Pour yourself some more delicious Don Holy. Self-deprivation. Self-deprecation is key to enlightenment. <laughs> Two microphones. <laughs> this is already my... Self-deprecation. Joe Rogan on the main stage. Come on down. <laughs> this is my favorite episode of the show ever, by the way, if you're wondering. All right. Uh, David Flores, you did it again. You did another minute. You're out here. You're grinding. You're working the door at comedy clubs. You're doing everything right. How loud can this place get for David Flores, huh? There he goes. David. Take one of those. There you go. Thank you. Appreciate it. You fart in a cup. Thank you, guys. Oh, yeah. You put it in their face. Fart in a cup, put it in their face. Famous old Red Band YouTube video. Yeah. You guys having fun out there? Yeah, you are, motherfuckers. Your next comedian getting an uninterrupted 60 seconds. Anything can happen. Goes by the name of Arturo Lorenzo. Arturo Lorenzo. Arturo Lorenzo. Here he comes. One more time for Arturo Lorenzo. Hi, thank you. My name's Arturo Lorenzo, but seeing how many Hispanic comics were here, I probably could have just gone by Arturo. And uh, yes, I am Latino, so you can assume that I was raised Catholic. Any Catholics out here? 
Yeah, the fact that you're here tells me that Catholicism is not a real religion. It has all those loopholes. So you can just say, I'm sorry when you're going to get raped or die, and all of a sudden it's okay. Guess what? I'm going to see my priest in heaven. So uh, as long as he dies or gets raped, I guess to say sorry before he goes away. But uh, anybody like edibles? Anybody took an edible tonight? Edibles will fuck you up because you never know how strong they are. They definitely fucked me up, and uh, they also fucked up my dryer because I left them in my pants and forgot about them. You know, so uh, if anybody has a free dryer or edibles, get at me after the show. Uh, I also did not expect to be called because it's my first time being called out, and uh, I feel like they're just calling minorities because there's, there's this old white panel standing right here. Exactly. Even though Tony is tan enough to be a Latino. Thank you. Hello, Arturo Lorenzo calling out an all-white panel on a show that literally, you're right, anybody can get pulled on, out of the bucket on stage, but you felt the need to talk about an all-white panel. Let's talk about that for a second. Well, I was, I was white in Peru before I, I moved to I loved your America. set before that. You were going to get a big joke book oh. before that, and then there you go, talking about an all-white. You mean the people that put on the show that gives you an opportunity to get on stage? I and was by the white. way, I is that what you meant by all white? By the way, you walked the black guy and the Latino when you said that. I got an oh, idea. Yeah. How about you pull the next person? Tell us it's a scam. <laughs> yeah, 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 well, Alex Jones, of course, would say that. Yes, what, I'm very evil. Yeah. I'm very bad. Arturo it's, Lorenzo, let's talk about it. Welcome yeah. to the show. How long have you been doing stand up comedy? Uh, two and a half weeks. Wow, two and a half weeks. What yeah, made yeah. you start now? Uh, well, I think the world is over, so I figured I would push back against the wave. What makes you say that? What makes you think the world... I thought the world was over as well two and a half weeks ago, but look at us now. Well, Sold out to the gills. We, we love you. We want to hear you be funny, not how we're racist. Tell us how... Tell us how, tell us how bad... Uh, tell, give me a white joke. Tell me them. Well, I think the world is over because once we stop being able to tell guys that that's gay, we got these guys wearing felt hats. I don't know. I saw these the guys. The fuck are you talking about, Arturo? Come back over here. Yes. Uh, what ethnicity are you? I was born in Peru, so Peru. Uh, brown, Latino. Okay, 100% yeah, yeah, yeah. Peruvian? Yep, I moved here when I was 13, and uh, I took... That's not the right music for Peruvians. No, that's, no. That is the most Eisley Cantina. The that's in a different Close galaxy, enough. Red Band. Uh, you like, uh, what's a delicious Peruvian treat? It's a... A guinea pig. Guinea pig. It's Peruvian right? f- pure flight. It's, co- it's not empanadas. It's a... Uh, it's guinea pig. It's cocaine. You know, the thing uh, that looks like a rabbit. You're trying to drive this guinea pig thing into, but you guys do a special flower wrapped treat. Peruvian. Uh, tamales. No, it's no. Peruvian. How yeah. do you not know this? Are you really Peruvian? Yeah, yeah, yeah. God. I used to have a green card, but... It's Peruvian. It's a married a, white woman, so... Does anybody else know what I'm thinking of? No, it's churros. not churros. You churros. Retard. Who said that? Jesus Christ! It's David Lucas' <laughs> retarded friend up there. Ceviche. Everybody. Ceviche. It's Fuck. cocaine. Yeah. Churros. Churros. Yeah. What a fucking idiot. I love it. What do you do for work, Arturo? I work for our tech overlord, so I'm looking to get canceled tonight. Okay. Well, tech right. overlord. There you yep. go. Hmm. There you go. You can't Tesla, huh? Pardon? Tesla. Uh, no, VMware. Uh, you, I hope I get a severance after I get canceled tomorrow. What do you do? F- what do you do for fun, Arturo? Uh, this is what I'm at. I'm going to open mics. Other I do woodworking. This. Other than this, I do a little woodworking. Woodworking? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, what do you make out of wood? Uh, I make cutting boards, like furniture and whatnot. I'm building my uh, set for a failed YouTube channel. You What's know? your love life like? Uh, well, I got really drunk at brunch last night, yesterday, and did uh, open mic set, and I was making out. Apparently, some of these open micers saw it, and uh, I just like to, yeah. Jesus Christ. I'm just listening to the scumbag Latino vibe. You're that's having fun. That's what matters. Yeah. I it's the it. last over. No COVID, no AIDS, no condoms. And you're hanging out with a white yeah. supremacist show. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. I love it. Arturo, what's a fun fact about your life that we'd be surprised to know about you? Uh, I used to be a mathlete as a kid. You used to be a what? Mathlete. A mathlete? Oh, wow. Yeah, really? I, have a, I have a degree in geology, a science degree. Oh, my uh, God. Are you using, a virgin obviously. as well? No, no, uh, no. I, mean, I am I a just... virgin. Oh, you are? How yeah. many... Can we get a girl to come down here and kiss Alex Jones? Come <laughs> I'm on. I'm a little scared. Come on. As long as she has stinky feet. <laughs> I'll take those two girls earlier. I'm very scared. <laughs> I love it. Uh, Arturo, is there anything about your life that we would find interesting? Let's, let's pretend like we're just on a podcast right now and like we could talk about anything in the world about you and your history other than being a mathlete. 
Uh, is there anything else, a fun fact about you or your family or the way you were raised or anything? Uh, yeah. The racism of the show. I almost died at playing Pokemon Go once. You what? I almost died playing Pokemon Go. How do you oh. almost die playing Pokemon Go? How is yeah. that possible? Well, I was really drunk and I had just come out and I've just started wandering and I had like four IPAs out. in me. Yeah. And then I peed myself and fell asleep on the ground or passed out and All right. I came to. So I made uh, it. Thank you. Uh, thank you for All right, listening. Arturo, you are about as exciting as cancer. Uh, yeah. do, you, do you really have a backup pin in your front pocket just in case of your other pin no, goes bad? Right. My jokes. This are you kidding me? Double pin Arturo! <laughs> <laughs> guys, if you're not loving Alex Jones right now, you guys need to drink more. I'm having the yeah. time of my life. This the best guy, day of my life. Very rarely does a first-time guest win my heart over immediately. But I am in love with Alex Jones. Arturo, you did it, dude. You made your first appearance on Kill Tony. There's a little joke book for you. you. You're two and a half weeks in. Arturo, listen to me. You're two and a half weeks in, bro. Yes. Don't give up. Get back to the fucking drawing board. Take massive chances and come back, sign up again, and let it rip. All right? Absolutely. Thank you. There he goes. Arturo Lorenzo, everybody. Fuck yeah, man. There you go. He's a real mathlete, everybody. David's not here, right? Right, exactly. David Lucas is in L.A. taking care of his children. He has multiple babies with multiple baby mamas. So if you're wondering if David Lucas is a real black man, he is. He's got real children that he's taking care of. All right. Your next comedian goes by the name. Oh, you know what? Yeah, let's do that. I like that idea, actually. Last week, to start the show, we had a, uh, one of our favorite Asian comedians come up and sing the national anthem to start things out. And as a gratitude for him doing that, we're going to give him a minute here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Hans Kim, everybody. I want to hear it again. I want to hear the anthem. Here he is. Fresh haircut. Hans All Kim. Right. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Asian. Good to be here in the South. I'm also a Southerner. I'm from South Korea. Yeah. There's only two things I like. Shooting commies and K-pop. Real Southerner. My Asian friends make fun of me because I like to eat General So's chicken. They're like, Hans, isn't General So just a shitty Americanized version of something authentically Asian? And I'm like, yeah, but so am I. <laughs> My favorite movie is Rush Hour 3. Uh, I think my favorite Marvel movie would have to be the Black Panther because it gave black children a hero they could finally look up to. And not just someone like Martin Luther King Jr., Malcolm X, or Harriet Tubman, or Thurgood Marshall, or Rosa Parks, or Maya Angelou, <laughs> Kofi Annan, Nelson Mandela, Jay-Z, Oprah, Oprah, Jackie Robinson, Muhammad Ali. Now there's a fake person that dresses like a cat. <laughs> wow. Thank you. Hans King. Yeah. Thank you. Wow. That is how it's done, my friend. Thank that you so much. That is how it is done. My goodness, look at you. That is absolutely incredible, Hans. How long have you been on stand-up again? Eight years. Eight years. You live here in Austin, correct? Yes. So you're available. You're in town, right? Yes. You're doing gigs. You did the Death Squad gig on Thursday. How'd that go for you? It went great. I love, thank you, Red Band, for having me. And that's a brand new minute right there. You just did an episode with, uh, with uh, what was that one that came out last week? Uh, Russell Peters and Ron White. That uh, was the one before that. Oh, you uh, have done well, Lord Vader. It was... Uh, you mean last week? No, that was here. The one that aired last week. The one that aired last week? Oh, Jessica Michelle Singleton. Jessica Michelle Singleton, right? 
I was on with Russell Peters. Russell Peters. Oh, okay. It was that yeah. episode. How did I see that? <laughs> you were on it. Have you been on multiple times? I've been on twice. Yeah. Right. And that's not counting the national anthem last week. No. So I'm going to tell you something here. I'm going to tell you something very, very interesting. In the current condition of Kill Tony, David Lucas has to take off a couple weeks every month uh, to take care of his baby mama. Um, or his babies, not his baby mama. And uh, we have not announced a new regular on the show in literally... Thank you. Oh, yeah. In literally years. Years. It has been years since we made Michael Lara regular, years since David Lucas, years since William. But any time one of those three guys can't make it, which is quite often, as you will find out, would you be willing to be the new regular here on Kill Tony? Yes, a thousand wow. times. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Wow. Hell yeah. Very, very exciting. What a brilliant political move on my part. <laughs> we need more Asian comedians. <laughs> Red Band and I had no intention of doing this until halfway through your set when you were getting huge laughs. We started the conversation. The decision was made immediately. How do you feel right now, Hans? I feel amazing. I feel like all the years of homework have finally paid off. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> ah! Well, Hans, here you are. The first ever fourth regular of the show. The third wheel, which is fitting, because that's how many wheels are on a rickshaw. Uh, okay, people don't know what a rickshaw is. That's okay, I'll take it. It'll get laughs on the internet, that one. Hans, very, very exciting stuff. That was an absolutely incredible set. Snag yourself one of these big joke books on your... Have Thank you gotten you. one yet? Have I given you a big... I have one, yeah. Oh, okay, forget it then. We'll save the leather. <laughs> and uh, guys, I mean, I'm so excited about this. How loud can this place get for the newest regular of Kill Tony? Thank Hans. you so much. I love you, Austin. Yeah, absolutely. I started smoking cigarettes three weeks ago again. Yeah. And then I hey, found cigarettes. out. Look at the comedians going the comedians, crazy. They're for hugging Hans him. Kim. They're jumping up and down. Wow, that is so cool. I love the support. Austin comedians supporting Austin comedians. Honestly, uh, he's one of my new favorites. Uh, yeah. Ever since he moved out here, I've, I've really enjoyed his comedy. You could actually see him Thursday here at Vulcan doing a set at the Death Squad secret show also. So. There you go. Hans Kim is in the mix. You guys just witnessed history. In the history, in eight years of the show, we've only had that many regulars. There's only been eight of them. But who should we get rid of first? That's, that's a question for you gossiping idiots. The next name I pulled out of the bucket goes by the name of Riley Gilmore. Here we go. Here goes Riley Gilmore. Riley Gilmore. Riley Gilmore. Here he is. Come on, guys. One more time for Riley Gilmore. Everybody. Riley Gilmore. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, sorry I look like a racist middle schooler. Um... <clears throat> I did. Uh, I had a gay dream last night, though. Uh, I dreamt my mom wouldn't let me vape in the house, and that was super gay. <laughs> but um, <laughs> I was talking to a guy who works in a morgue, and uh, he told me I like to have sex with the dead bodies. And I was like, "Dude, are you serious?" And he said, "Yeah, dead ass." <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I'm starting to eat a local Mediterranean food. I don't really like supporting big shawarma. <laughs> there was a, no, a pedophile epidemic. I don't know if you guys heard about this. There's a pedophile epidemic in the Boy Scouts. 
Um, over 3,000 sexual predators were identified. Uh, so for this, each scout earned their predator identification badge and a kiss on the lips. <laughs> Thank you. Fuck yeah. Riley Gilmore coming in. Hard to follow Hans Kim up here. Uh... That's the Jeffrey Epstein badge. <laughs> what? The Jeffrey Epstein badge. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah. Riley Gilmore, welcome to the show. Thank you. According to your skin tone, this is your first time being out in months. <laughs> <laughs> you are as white as it gets, huh? Yeah. A long yeah. drive from Round Rock to be here tonight? <laughs> I uh, buy sunscreen from Costco. So. I love it. You're suburban as fuck. Where do you live? Uh, I live in Riverside right now. Wait, is that a city? That's a city or a uh, street? It's like uh, it's just right below the river, uh, south. Wow. So it's by the side of the river. <laughs> Thanks a lot, buddy. Wow. Suburban as fuck. I live in Mountaintop. It's uh, the top of the mountain. Uh, Thank uh, you, Riley. Sorry, Absolutely no. incredible. Riley Gilmore, any relation to Happy? Yeah, I'm sad, Gilmore. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Riley, how long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, two and a half years. Two yeah. and a half years. What do you do for a living? I uh, deliver groceries to people, middle class people. <laughs> <laughs> how do you know it's just middle class and uh, not upper class? I don't know. Uh, if they were upper class, they'd be ordering from like Whole Foods. I'm like an H-E-B guy. Oh, yeah. okay. You know what? I got to say, I'm going to be honest with you. I know a lot of upper class people. I'm not, I might not be one of them. I don't want people to think that I have money. But I will say this, is that I, one of the first things I did was I got rid of everything I ever liked, Whole Foods, and I switched to H-E-B right away, oh, yeah. all the way. Yeah. Absolutely. You will never see Tony Hinchcliffe in a Whole Foods again. Yeah. H-E-B or it ain't me, motherfucker. Tell us why, though. Why, why? You're an H-E-B guy, right, Alex? I, I, I am. I'm not, I'm not a whole paycheck guy, yeah. Yeah. Joe Rogan's an H-E-B guy? No, Joe's, Joe's an Aldi guy. He's, he's, no, yeah. not here. No, he's not, Red Band. That doesn't even make any sense. There's not Aldi's out here. And Let's it, make Brian yeah. Red Band host for 10 minutes. No, 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 no. Alex, that's literally the worst thing that's ever come out of your mouth. Oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Brian Red Band. No one. All right, oh, guys. Okay. There's one idiot. One idiot clapped. Come on, guys. One idiot clapped and the slutty cougar clapped, too. Uh, that's it. That's all you got. That's my girls. <laughs> <laughs> Riley, what's something interesting about your life? Tell us about it. Uh, I've never come during sex. What? Whoa. Do you have, like, a clogged hole? You could just get, there's probably some cotton in there. Just pull it out. Okie dokie, uh, <laughs> that was not worth it. Why don't we just let it breathe a little bit, Red Band? Uh, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, I don't know, there, man. That's the question to ask. What I do you mean know. you haven't come during sex? It's, uh, I don't know, man. Okay, just, stop. Uh, How do you come? When do you come? Uh, usually when the, the clock strikes 12. Riley. Uh, no, I, I don't, I mean, I come, like, I can come on my own. Right. I just can't come with another What do you person. have to do to come on your own? No, he's like General Jack T. Ripper in Donna Strange Love. He denies the women his essence. Who wants to figure this out, son? You sound like a pirate. <laughs> I do a little bit. <laughs> figure that out, huh? Smart, huh? Tell me, my mate, why you don't come in your sluts. Arr. Let's be serious. Riley, how do you make yourself come? Tell me how you um, make yourself come. Usually by jerking off. Right, jerking off. Um, sometimes I watch porn. Um, what type of porn do you watch to make yourself come? Uh, you know, uh, you know, women. Um. <laughs> Riley, there's something you're I'm not now, telling my us, you, my little friend. I'm sorry to break the news to you, but everyone thinks you're lying about something up here. <laughs> No, um, no, I don't know. It's like something I'm actually hoping you could uh, help me out well, with. Well, I'm trying. No, 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 no. Wait. <laughs> no, wow. I mean, uh, I just... All the uh, fag hags are going crazy <laughs> over here right now. Look at this lady. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. It's a, it's a fun... It's a... <laughs> okay, all right. 
Uh, so let's talk about it. Let's talk sure, about it nice yeah. and slowly. Let's I'm talk about what you do when you got that woman begging for it. <laughs> I'm going to ask you questions, <laughs> Riley. I want you to <laughs> answer them honestly, All okay? Right. So when's the last time you had sex with a woman? Uh, like two days ago. What? Everybody shut the fuck up. Everybody else. This place is getting a little bit fucking rowdy <laughs> right now. I promise Just you. Now? It's still a live podcast. Yeah, okay. the other day, the other day. The other day. So you're able to get hard for a woman, is mm, that yeah, correct? Yeah. Easily. Yeah, pretty, you know. Uh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Once, I, once I'm, like, you know, comfortable enough, you know. What does it usually take for them to make you comfortable enough? Mm, suck my dick. Okay. <laughs> hey, I'm with you on that, buddy. All right. Finally, something we can relate to each other about. I also agree, sucking my dick gets me hard. Uh, wow. Very good. You're a real human being. <laughs> okay. So, like, you've had sex with women. They've sucked your dick. You have sex with them unprotected yeah, or right. always with a condom? Not, no. Unprotected. Unprotected. Yeah. And you still can't come. That's not yeah, right, dude. What are you thinking about? <laughs> Thank you, Red Band. Thank you, do- Dr. No, Red Band. No, 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 no. Like, that, that's, <laughs> that's, that's some serious <laughs> shit. Like, when I you know, were a kid, did, like, did you get molested? Okay, red uh, man <laughs> again. Maybe back to... Did you? Did you get molested? No. Okay, perfect. Not that I know of. <laughs> All right, so let's keep talking about it. We're going to figure it out here. Have you tried different <laughs> positions sexually mm. with girls? Mm. No come. You've never come with a girl? I feel like the, it's too wet, you know? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Uh, okay. <laughs> D Madness, what do you think about all this? <laughs> Jesus Christ, man, really? <laughs> it's like putting a fish in water. I had to get up when I can't see you, and I had to get up. You can't just keep coming. <laughs> <laughs> so tell this young man how he's supposed to do it. I'm, no, I'm not going to roast him that hard. <laughs> Deep Madness is absolutely shocked that a wet pussy can't make you come. Yeah, Deep Madness, like, tell us how you're supposed to do it. Oh, this is man. the first time Deep Madness has stood since we started <laughs> doing shows in Austin. He's never felt this passionately like, about anything at all. He's like Megatron. Until you said, I don't know why I can't come. I think it's because the pussies are too wet. <laughs> you just got to get it going there, yeah. son. <laughs> I looked out there. I saw, I saw women literally like they, they can't fathom what you're mm. saying right now. I okay, know, so let I me know. ask you this, Riley. Here's my next question. I'm going to try to get an answer good. out of you from. Sure. Here it is, Riley. You ready for it? How dry is your hand when you're jerking <laughs> off? Like what type of like powder are we putting on this fucking thing? Is it like a pool player? Are you chalking up your hands? <laughs> Yeah. Are you like a gymnast before doing a pole yeah. vault? Like, how dry does it yeah, need to be? Yeah, when you see like the Sahara Desert, you get turned on? Yeah, um, I don't know, man. And I'm still know. holding my base with my right hand still standing up here, <laughs> so I mean, I'm still uh, waiting for your answer. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> D-Madness is literally taking a stand right now. <laughs> he is literally... <laughs> Something I don't, I don't know how this ends with D Madness. He might just start running any direction. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I've never seen anything like this before. You have put the show to a complete halt, Riley Gilmore, and I love it. This yeah, is how an interview you. works. Thank you. I tried twice earlier. I go, is this there is real. anything interesting about this you is whatsoever? Real. And then here's Riley, the first guy in the history of the show to say, I can come by myself, but not with someone else. <laughs> have, you, have you ever been with a girl with a dry pussy? Or have you ever tried, like, when you're about to fuck a girl, where you put your dick in her, like, burp in her face or do something to, like, make her dry? Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> have, have you ever thought about letting Red Band fuck the girl for a little bit before you put it in? That's right. <laughs> we could try that. You haven't seen a dry pussy till Red Band's gotten a hold of it. <laughs> that thing's fucking dusty yeah. and crusty. It'll definitely be dry after that. 
Riley, so this is so interesting. Have you ever been with a girl, had great sex with her that's lasted yeah, a long time, yeah. and then all of a sudden, they're you know, they're, I'm sure, I'm positive that these girls sometimes are offended. They go, is something yeah, wrong? Yeah, definitely, definitely. And what do you yeah. do then? Are you just like, well, watch this, and you just fucking blow the wetness off your dick and then just fucking <laughs> attack it? Like, what do you do? Do you, you just... No, I'm normally just like, eh, it's okay. You just I, don't come? Yeah. Have you ever faked it? Like, just grab some blue no, cheese and no. throw it on her face? Actually, uh, wow. I think I have faked it before. But, uh... <laughs> What's that, the Seinfeld thing? <laughs> D-Madness is stealing the show right now. <laughs> He's roasting him with a bass guitar. <laughs> Oh my god. He can't he just said he can't take any more of this yeah, shit. Next. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna fucking die of laughter, man. <laughs> Deep madness. Just one of the nicest people in the world will not accept this whatsoever. I know. How do you think I feel? <laughs> okay. But you have come with a girl. Like you did jerk off, like No. Never. No. So you Maybe ne- I should try that. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, how are old really, are you? You haven't thought about this? I, yeah. I you mean, haven't been like, well, maybe I'll just, you know, like at least I mean, show them that I'm attracted to them, but I need something dry. No, I think I, I think it's not. Maybe it's not about the wet thing. It's like just like I don't know, like peer pressure, maybe. Peer pressure? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking peer pressure, bro? I don't know. I don't know. It could be anything. It wait, wait alright, hold wait. on a second. Where are the girls like? from the Red Rose, the Yellow Rose? Uh, <laughs> because maybe if we dry hump this guy, how many how many of you want to see Riley come for the first time? <laughs> wait, what what if what I if just saw my friends put their faces in their hands like this? What if the, what if he just has a really small dick? You know, like that's why. No, he that's, can't. no that's not the problem. No, no, no I, I knew from the moment he got this isn't a small dick guy. You can <laughs> no? Tell. no, this is a guy that has mental problems. It's not a small dick issue. <laughs> you can't dress like that if you have a little dick. That's fucking. What are you talking about? He looks like Meg from Family Guy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> look at you. Look at Red Band. <laughs> Red band. <laughs> Riley, uh, look at that. Listen to me. I'm going to tell you something. I know something about the Kill Tony fan base, and this is a fan base that likes to take control. Mm. All right? I'm sure there's a girl that's been watching you this whole time. She's out there. I don't know which one it is. All right? And I bet you she has the driest fucking pussy <laughs> you've ever seen in your life. It's actually I mean, a condition. There's just nothing like it. It's like, it's, it's like the Sahara. Yeah. It's drier than fucking Pang Dang's comedy set, all right? Like, it's like... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. no. The very elusive and always wanted Pang Dang joke. Fun fact about Pang Dang, he's never going to come here either. (laughs) That's the best one right there. All right. Riley, I spent 15 minutes on your fucking not coming ass. And uh, it was so much fun, dude. Write another minute. Come back again, okay? Thanks so much, There he goes. Riley Gilmore, everybody. Riley. There you go. Riley Gilmore. He's on Instagram at Riley G-E. All right. J.P. Puthenbatil. Charles Adams Jr., and David Flores is Dave Cito444. All right. I pulled a name out of the bucket earlier when I, uh, when I brought up Hans Kim. I'm going to bring this person up. We're going to see what happens here. But well, we haven't had a lady up. Should we get a lady up here? All right. You guys ready for a lady? Unlike Los Angeles, Austin has very few female comedians. And uh, we, believe it or not, contrary to what... USA Today, Fox News, TMZ, The Daily Mail would like you to know we are as equal opportunity as it gets here at Kill Tony. And so I'm going to pull until I get a lady. Errol is not a lady, right? E-R-O-L, that's not a lady, right? No. 
Ridge Hirschberger, we know him, we love him. Tyler Brown, I don't know. Justin Essenmayer. It's God, not we need nice more tonight. females in Austin. Sam ASAP. Pickett. Dallas Irvin. Uh, we are going to get a lady up here if it's the last thing we do. Anthony Martin is not a girl. Brandon Gray. How about Amber Alex Jones? He's going pee real quick, I do believe. <laughs> He's going to double stack Duncan Trussell on the toilet. Oh, my God. She is? Well, we'll get to it. Jesus Christ, guys. Really, I have, females, I have, if you're a comedian, move to Austin, Texas immediately. Yeah. You'll have a Showtime special in like 20 minutes. Patrick Gareth. Oh, my God. All right. Here we go. We got to it. We actually know this lady. She's all the way from New York City. She's been on the show before. She absolutely destroyed. I cannot wait to see a new minute from her. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Leonardo Joni, everybody. Woo! What's up? What's up? You guys had a good childhood? Yeah. I can always tell who had a good childhood because they do silly shit like pick their gender. You know what I mean? As soon as you tell me your pronouns, I know you never got beat. Right. Do you guys know who Fallon Fox is? All right, for those of you who don't know who Fallon Fox is, I'll explain. Fallon Fox is the first transgender MMA fighter. That's right, be quiet, all right? I'll break it down for you. Fallon Fox used to be a man, is now a woman, now gets into the ring with women. Yeah, call me old-fashioned, but I remember a time that if you wanted to beat up a woman, you had to date her first. <laughs> All right? We ain't fighting if we ain't fucking, you know what I mean? All right, you want to crush this skull, you're going to crush this pussy first! <laughs> Leonardo Joni doing it again. Enjoying myself so much, I lit up another cigarette. I didn't forget. To, I forgot to mention that I said I started smoking three weeks ago. Uh, I don't know what happened three weeks ago in which I would ever want to start smoking cigarettes again. But anyway, and then I found out last week. This is true. That and this is amazing. That I found out that if you're in Texas, in the state of Texas, and you're an artist that performs on stage, you can smoke any time you want. And let me tell you something. That is one more thing that makes Texas better than California. I just wanted to make sure you guys knew that. That we love it here. We're, we're glad you guys welcomed us, but we are happy to be here. Leonardo, you moved from the beautiful city of New York City. You are a uh, regular comedian there, uh, doing it all the time, and uh, very, very highly respected in the community. And you moved to Austin, Texas recently, right? I did. I and did. how recent? A few weeks ago? or uh, About three months ago, actually. Okay. And, yeah. a, and how are you enjoying everything? Tell us more about being Leonardo in <laughs> Austin. It's been pretty good, actually. Everybody's, like, really nice to me, which is surprising. Yeah, right. well, I mean, Well, because I'm used to people in New York just, like, yelling at you for anything. I'm right. Like, yeah. Have you noticed the lack of female com comics here in Austin? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, there's a dearth of them. Do, have, do you know any female comics in New York? And you're like, you should get the fuck over here now. Like, no. Yeah, because <laughs> people in New York... People in New York live in this weird little bubble where all they talk about, well, the second they get off stage in New York, they talk about, this is the only place to fucking do it. That's all they talk about. Fuck L.A., fuck everywhere else. Fucking Joe Rogan thing, and he's going to start it. I don't know why I sound like Joey Diaz, but... <laughs> what the fuck, Cox? But, like, that's all they do, literally. All, except for Dave Attell, who just keeps writing jokes and burying all of them. Uh... But that's all they do is talk about how New York's the best, and then they have to arrive at a festival and follow an L.A. comedian, and they end up coming up with excuses very quickly on why their set didn't go so great. But, I mean, Leonardo, you are a, uh, a rare exception. What made you have the balls to move out of New York and into Austin? Well, the last show I did in New York was for, like, Three Pigeons, and I was like, I'm out. I can't do this. It they, was it for was midgets? For, no, for three pigeons. Like Three pigeons? It was oh, in the middle geez. of February. They decided to do the show outside, and there was like three pigeons, and they were heckling us. So I was like, I got to go. Okay. 
All right. So you did a show for... Did the pigeons laugh? At my jokes. Okie dokie. Uh, <laughs> Leonardo, I got to meet your boyfriend last week, yes, and he, he looks nothing like you. Uh, <laughs> Amazing photographer. Amazing photographer. Her boyfriend is? Yes. Really? Yes. Yeah. He's uh, awesome. Like, there's oh, been wow. so many photographers that have taken photos of us since we've been here in Austin, and he immediately was my favorite when I first saw him. He's great. You could check him out on uh, uh, his Instagram. Jalen takes photos. Yes. Jalen takes photos. Yeah. Awesome. Leonardo, what's something about your life or you, what you do for fun or something that we haven't talked about yet on this show? That I, could... uh, I like to go bowling. You do? Yeah, that's a new oh. thing. Let me ask you this. There was a guy on earlier that said that he couldn't come with a woman. What, do you, what are your thoughts on this? <laughs> that's what I, I mean... want. I'm going to ask you. In a very rare instance in the show's history, I'm going to ask a comedian about what's a up, question Alex? about another comedian that was on earlier. <laughs> What do you uh, think about this fucking guy? Well, let me just say, I only come with women. <laughs> I don't think it's gay, folks. I, I love you. But I like women. I have no problem coming with women. I mean, we've seen some statement. news stories, Alex. I don't know if that's 100% true. <laughs> oh, really? Well, okay, me and Brian used to date. So. Uh, come on. We have to make a teaser before this episode comes out with Alex just saying things with multiple microphones. <laughs> 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 yeah. Brian. All right. I've been dating Brian Redman for 20 years. He had three of my children. I Leonardo, mean, yeah. yeah. What do you think about this guy? He's gay. Why 100%. is that a mystery? That's gay. Yeah. I agree. I we should have had a guy come up here and give him a lap dance and I, see if I he got hard gay. or not. I'm good. Wait, let's bring him back up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> D Madness just said, God, it's nice to be blind. <laughs> Um, I'm a big Since fan of... Since I'm uh, gay, it's all if she come sit on my lap. Come here right now. I love Alex Jones, though. I'm a huge conspiracy fan. Oh, theory. Brian's gay. Oh, really? Yeah. You're a big yeah. Alex Jones fan, huh? Big, big... What's Alex your Jones. favorite conspiracy theory? Yeah. Oh, the reptilians, man. That's the best one. Oh, oh That's shit. That's the best one. But I haven't seen any black reptilians. So. I, always get exp- I always get credit for that. That's David Icke. I'm what? not saying he's wrong, but yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? I always get credit for the reptilian conspiracy. But that's not me. <laughs> I'm not saying David Icke's wrong. I'm just not saying we're run by lizards. Yeah. Though I did watch Land of the Lost. Maybe it's true. Yeah. And I t- Joe Biden looks like a lizard, so maybe it is true. It's, it is. It's weird getting confused with other people in your field that have done other things. I know that because a lot of people have been calling me. Mike. Oh, it's a Bigfoot dude. I'm like, no, that ain't me. Yep. No, no, you're the guy, the Bigfoot guy. I'm like, no, it's not me. Some people. Oh, shut up. We're buying you lunch. You're the Bigfoot guy. Like, okay, buy me lunch. I'm Bigfoot guy. Some people step on a joke. Alex Jones just cannonballed on a joke right then. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're okay, Alex. I'm the last splash. <laughs> no, I can't start it over. It won't work. All right, I'll do it again. Oh, no. Say kiss, say, say kiss, I get, kiss. Say I get a lot of credit for the reptilians, but that's not me again. I get a lot of credit for the reptilians <laughs> because I have the largest micro penis in America. No, say I got credit for the reptilian conspiracy, but that actually wasn't me. Say that. I get a lot of credit for the reptilian conspiracy. But that actually wasn't me. I know what that's like, getting confused with people in your field that actually did something else. A lot of people in my Twitter mentions have been calling me Michael Richards lately. Oh. See how it didn't work? That's why it didn't work. That's why I wouldn't do it again. We'll edit that out. It's okay, everybody. Oh, no, you got to leave the bad jokes in. I know. I'm kidding. We, I, I, we always leave in when I say I'm going to edit that out, and then people go, oh, know, oh, you forgot to edit it out. Oh, 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 oh. It's time to call it out. Listen, I'm here tonight because we got married last week in Vegas. That's goddamn right. We got married. It's all true. Sweet. I'm gay. Serious shit. I'm gay. It's my husband. Right Absolutely. <laughs> and I can't and come. That's not fake news. I can't come unless it's in Alex Jones's ass. So. <laughs> I like. I fucked my wife five times before I got here. That's why I'm gay. 100%. Leonardo, you are a goddamn gem. You Thank absolutely you. kill it every single goddamn time we see you. Anything else for Leonardo? Uh, she'll be on the Death Squad sh- uh, secret show Thursday, so you can yeah. see her do a full set. You guys got to come to these Death Kick Squad shows. Thank you. you. As you can tell, it's a... Leonardo, you already have a joke book, right? No? Okay, here you go. Here's a big one. Take a big one. You deserve it. How about a big hand for Leonardo? You're these joke books, books are from Adrian Cavazzo, so you have to follow him on Instagram at Boneseye. We're having fun here. Thanks to the red rose and the yellow rose and fucking everything. 
Guys, as you could tell, you're at a show in which Joe Rogan and Duncan Trussell just swung by for a second. This Austin comedy scene, it's going to be something that the world talks, it's going to be written about in history books. What's about to happen here? It's already yeah. started. And I just want to remind you to go to every fucking, there's no limits to how many live shows you're allowed to go to per week. Check out the Death Squad show. Go to all the crazy shows. You come to Kill Tony every week. Go to everything you can. Have fun. That's what it's here for. Because it is forbidden. I mean, seriously, it's just open free speech. Why is that a problem? That's America. You're goddamn right. It's the You're mo- goddamn right it is. It's the most American thing in the world. Dirty jokes. You guys think we should do one more out of the bucket and then get out of here, huh? Look at Joe White over there taking pictures. I love that motherfucker. Oh, look at that. If that isn't destiny, I don't know what is. Look at that. I just pulled Hans Kim out of the bucket, everybody. He signed up tonight. He had no idea we were going to throw him up. All right, your final comedian out of the bucket tonight goes by the name of Nathaniel Allen, everyone. Here we go, Nathaniel Allen. Come on, guys, make some noise. Nathaniel Allen. One more time. One more time for Nathaniel Allen, everybody. Thank you. I like that hair. I like the hair. All right, uh, so yogurt used to make me gag when I was younger. I thought it was a textural thing. Turns out I was just sticking a spoon too far back. Um, I think the female orgasm reminds me a lot of fishing. You know, they're both really elusive. The only difference is when I go fishing and I don't catch a fish, the water doesn't lie to me and say, yeah, you caught a fish. Uh, I personally like women with small boobs. It's really more of an insecurity than a preference. I'm just worried that if I marry somebody who has double D's at 22, that she'll have double U's at 52. (laughs) You know, I don't want to be getting intimate with my wife one day and take her bra off, have a pair of truck nuts fall out on me. (laughs) Uh, I wanted to, I've always wanted to play spin the bottle, you know. Uh, It's a long one, I'll just end it. You all right. Nathaniel Allen, welcome to the show, sir. That was good. Hell yeah. Looking like fucking Thor with leukemia <laughs> up here. Shit. Somebody uses Prell. Yeah, Jesus. That Christ. is amazing. Did you curl your hair like that? No, I just showered today. Oh, oh shit, look at that. Even the <laughs> mic stands like, I got to get the fuck away from this. <laughs> My God, Nathaniel, welcome to the show. How long have you been doing stand-up comedy? Uh, about a month. About a month. What made you start? Um, I really started two years ago, but I did it in Boston like three or four times. I loved it, and I was like, I need to move somewhere where I can do this more because I was from New Hampshire. So I could only do it like once a week. I moved down to New York City, and then COVID hit, so I couldn't do it at all. So then I moved down here. So two years later, I'm doing it. Here you are. Absolutely. What a wild time. What a wild story. How old are you, Nathaniel? I'm 22. Wow. 22 years old. That's how old I was when I started. Wow. That's incredible. Look at you. Look. Maybe at one point, you could be one of the top young rising comedians in the world. Anything could happen. (laughs) Nathaniel, you're absolutely adorable. You're 22 years old. You just moved out here to Austin all Mm -hmm. by yourself. You have the haircut of a seventh grade girl. (laughs) What else about you? What do you like to do for fun, Nathaniel? Tell us what 22-year-olds are doing for fun nowadays. Um, I have a guitar at home that I'm terrible at playing. Really? Um, Oh, boy. I like to do yoga. It's great to help me sleep. Wow. Can you also Um, not come with a woman? (laughs) I mean, I have. I have. I bet you have, dude. (laughs) I bet those little curly hairs go wild when... uh... Have you ever straightened your hair? Have you ever tried anything different? Um, yeah, I had. This is the second time I've grown my hair out long. I grew it out when I was in like sixth grade, and I used to straighten it because I hated the curls. But it just looked 
greasy and gross. But so. your mom would always tell you, don't no, straighten it, Nathaniel. She would say, cut it off. She didn't. She doesn't like me with Are you Puerto hair. Rican? What are you? Uh, I'm German and French. What? What do you see Puerto Rican about? <laughs> <now>? <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't see it. What <laughs> show are you watching? I mean, the hair is Puerto Rican. Are you Rican. talking to, like, Michael over there or something? No, and the or? Puerto Rican hair. Even Deep Madness, I would understand you asking no, that. No, no, no. I'm Are you Puerto talking Rican. about this fucking inglorious bastard over <laughs> here? <laughs> I'm a Puerto Rican with a thyroid problem. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Nathaniel, how do you make money? Uh, I'm a server downtown. Okay, where are yeah. you serving at? Uh, North Italia. Oh, I know that place, actually. Yeah, yeah I've been sometime. there. Yeah. I've been there. They have the meatballs appetizer, right? Yeah, they're yeah, really good. I love that. I, I, a lot, not a lot of people know this about me, but I could survive off of only meatballs. I I'm a hamburger meatballs. guy, but that's we just always a heard flat balls. Meatball. But you're a hamburger guy. Oh yeah, very mm. good. No, for those of you that missed Red Bands, shut up, little baby gay shut joke. Shut the fuck up. up. <laughs> he said that I, I love balls. So for those of you that missed it, if you, if you have a learning disability, you don't want to miss that joke, Derp. everybody. <laughs> uh, Nathaniel, so you play guitar, but you suck at it. Are you being serious? Or are you being uh, humble? No, I mean sucks. I can play like. Three or four songs, but I'm really not all what that. What songs can you play? What three or four songs can you play? Um, I can play Blackbird by the Beatles. Um, I can play Dust in the Wind by Kansas. Matt, what do you think about... Th- oh, shit. No, 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 Come no, on. No, uh, Yo, you got to grab it. You got to grab it. Michael Gonzalez with a little drum roll until he... Uh, Grabbed his phone for some reason. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> this is the moment of truth right here, everybody. He's got the hair of a rock star. Or a Puerto Rican. He's got the body of a uh, lesbian softball player. <laughs> We're going to see what happens here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Nathaniel Allen. <laughs> Kiss me. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's actually really good. Okay. Dust in the wind is also one of the only things that makes that one guy come. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> All right. Did, did, did Alex leave too? You know you're canceled when Alex Jones walks off of your podcast, by the way. This is where my career's at right now. Joe and Duncan got here and they're like, what are we doing again? I love it. You're adorable, dude. You just played Kansas, Dust in yeah, the Wind. Yeah. My goodness. Wow, Nathaniel. Any other fun facts about you? You seem like the kind of guy that I don't know. I feel like there's something there that you're not telling us about uh, you. Yeah, uh, I wanted to be a chef, but then uh, I, my girlfriend died, and that derailed my life. Wait, 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 wait a second. <laughs> wait a second. Yeah. Wait a second. This is about to be... For those... <laughs> Hold on. This is about to be an epic moment. How long were you dating this girl for? Uh, it was it was a middle school relationship, so it was like eight months, and then uh, wait, she hold got, on, wait, what grade? <laughs> hold on. It was it was mm. it was eighth grade. Eighth grade. So, it was so like, you're dating this girl for a few months. Yeah, it was the first girl okay. I, I dated. The first then, uh, girl you ever dated. So the first love of your life. You're in eighth yeah. grade. Everything's fine. You're getting boners and stuff, yeah. right? You're like yeah. making out. Did you guys like tongue kiss? Or just yeah. regular kiss. Tongue yeah. kiss? Yeah. You never threw a wow. finger in her, though, right? No. Eighth grade's a little too yeah, early for that. Yeah. That summer between eighth grade and high nervous. school, everyone knows you're not allowed to finger until the summer before high school. <laughs> Tony, you're right? giving me goosebumps. It's an, Okay, thank you, Red Band. Red Band's joke's brought to you by Don Julio, by the way. Uh, okay, so hold on a second. You're in eighth grade. You're getting mm-hmm. boners. You're making out. Life is good. No fingers. And then yeah. what happens? Uh, she was walking home, got hit by a drunk driver. And, oh, uh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> Red Band and I are now just doing a podcast for ourselves. Uh, we are clearly laughing harder than anyone else in the room. I don't know how... Very rarely does it end up this way, but... 
whatever. You guys can leave if you want to. Uh, at least, okay. Well, at least nothing is more women, exciting though. to us than someone losing a loved one. We don't know why it is. We can't explain why it makes us feel good because it's so wrong, and that's what we love. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And you're so. laughing about it. For those of you just listening, he's <laughs> laughing about it before you go yeah, make a no, fucking no, video about <laughs> it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Anyway, so Nathaniel, so wow. Uh, she got yeah, so How does I, an eighth grader get hit by a drunk driver? Was she walking at nighttime? No, What's, she um she, she was on the roping. sidewalk and the lady went up the onto the sidewalk. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah. So did she hit anybody else? Was your girlfriend walking by herself? Yeah, she was with a, a friend of hers and it like shattered her sp- uh, her her pelvis, like busted her spleen. It was Jesus pretty bad. Christ. You ever tried to get but, with her? No, no. <laughs> yeah. No, I didn't. I was a little bit depressed at the time. Yeah, you ever been so like? Was, uh, you ever been like? Yeah. <laughs> you ever been like? I'll bust on that spleen. You know what I'm saying, dude? <laughs> yeah. So I was. I, I was love the look. Go. I love the look up. Matt Muling's a really good guy, and he's just like, he's literally like looking at us, like, "What the fuck are you guys doing right now?" Sometimes I'll catch Matt just like, "What the fuck am I doing here?" <laughs> like, <laughs> D Madness is with it though. D Madness, fun fact. D Madness was the one driving the car that killed your girlfriend. Uh, <laughs> uh, hold on, D Madness is gonna say something. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Let me get you a fucking microphone. What? I had a good excuse. All right, I don't know. I know, I agree, D Madness. That was the joke the whole time, is that you were blind. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't eat my edible. <laughs> D Madness is. How about a hand for D Madness, everybody? A goddamn saint. It's an angel. The guy's an angel. Sent to us from the heavens above. Okay, so your girlfriend, your eighth grade girlfriend dies, then what happens? What yeah, do you do um, next? I was. On the, I was on the path to become a chef. I was going to do technical school, go through the culinary program. And then uh, I changed my mind. I was like, I don't know that I want to do college. This is a, this you were going to be a chef, soundtrack. and then you're like, wow, yeah. this, 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 this hamburger reminds me of my girlfriend. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> even I think I may have crossed the line there. <laughs> Go ahead, tell no, us more. So, You're going to be a chef, and then what happened? And then uh, I decided I wanted to take a, uh, a break after high school. I ended up having a friend out in Germany. I traveled out to Europe for four months. I so you went in, to Germany? Yeah, I went to Germany. and um, Dose is okay. In high school, I was a really straight guy. I was like no drinking, no smoking, no anything. I was pretty boring. But um, I got out to Germany, and I made a bunch of German friends, and I, I got to go in a... Uh, Oh, no, I what don't are smoke. you doing? Don't do, don't do that. Um, He's answering a question on a podcast, Red Band. Go so ahead. you know, it was it was a great time. I drank with a bunch of Germans. I went down to Italy, and I was an au pair for this thirteen-year-old kid. And uh, wait, what? Wait, hold on. Wait, what did you do with a thirteen-year-old? I was kid? an au pair. I was like a nanny. An au pair? Yeah, yeah. So it's a program where poor people who want to travel can watch people's kids and uh, see the world as well. Jesus yeah. Christ. It was awesome, though. I got, to, uh, I got to try some homemade Italian pasta that the grandmother made. She spoke no English. She okay. gave me some limoncello she made from the lemons in her backyard. Wow. It was a fucking awesome look, experience. Wow, look and at that. And then I came back here. My cousin was at NYU Film, and he was like, hey, you want to act in a film? And I was like, sure. So I tried it out, and I liked it, but at the same time... All right, let's talk like, about this do. dead girlfriend again for no, a second no, that's here, how I got the comedy, you Shit's know? getting pretty boring, Nathaniel. I'm going to be honest with you. I want to talk about... So... So when, when that happened, like, I mean, is that, like, uh, is that something that you think about a lot? Like, do you think that Not relationship could have lasted if it wasn't for, uh, if it wasn't for uh, uh, someone I mean, crushing her pussy before you did? <laughs> <laughs> oh, come oh, on. Oh, God, guys. Guys, she's gone. There's Tony, no bringing her back now. Tony, It doesn't matter great. what joke I make. She was killed, what? 15, 20 years ago. Essentially, yeah. Uh, do you remember the ago. last time you hung out with her? Or was the last thing you said to her? Or like, uh, uh, no, I don't remember the last time Do you we remember? Hung out was it like Goo Goo Gaga or something Essentially, like that? yeah, yeah. All right. There he goes, Nathaniel Allen, everybody. Thank you so much, Nathaniel. Yeah. 
We don't have any big joke books. I would give you one. But there you go. There's one. There's one that was it was the size of your girlfriend's hands when she was uh <laughs> I can't help myself, people. If you don't know by now, then you never will. And let's uh let's do a straight cut so we can edit that out. Uh, no, we're back. I'm not editing anything. <laughs> we're not editing anything out ever again. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is it. For those of you that are fans of the show, you know what happens now, ladies and gentlemen. This is it. There is one last regular that needs to perform tonight. This guy is an absolute fucking genius. You know him from Kill Tony. He writes and performs a brand new minute every single week. Rick, he was a legend at Second City in Chicago. Found out he got Lou Gehrig's disease, decided to chase his lifelong dream of being a stand-up comedian. We found him within months of that. And now he's a regular on Kill Tony. What? Oh, that's right. Ladies and gentlemen, a very special treat. You've seen him on Kill Tony before. It's Injured Dice Clay, everybody. We've seen Injured Dice Clay before. He's a legend on this show. One more time for Injured Dice Clay, everyone. Little, little bo peep lost her sheep to COVID complications. <laughs> she was anti-mask and anti-vax, but now the bitch has no reservations. <laughs> dice, 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 dice. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Oh, Mother Hubbard ran to the cupboard to fetch a bottle of wine, but she already had two, so what that bitch do? She fell and broke her spine. Dice, 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 dice. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall, but Humpty's job led their insurance expire so now Humpty's wife is pussy for hire. <laughs> dice, 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 dice. <laughs> Little boy blue, someone grab an nappy pen before this kid dies. <laughs> dice, 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 dice. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water, Jack fell down. He had lead poisoning. <laughs> the hill was in Flint, Michigan. <laughs> dice, 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 dice. There was an no old lady who lived in the shoe. Political discourse and divide prevented her from being relocated. <laughs> Can we get this bitch a boot? Dice, 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 dice. Hickory dickory dock. I sat on my cock. My boys too, so my nurse came through and I fucked every hole in the cracks. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Two minutes and 38 seconds. Everybody else trying their hardest to fill a minute with laughter. And here he is, bringing back to character injured Dice Clay, ladies what is and that gentlemen. Around his neck? Michael Lair is here, showing off his hand sanitizer for some oh. weird reason. No. <laughs> Stay sick, y'all. <laughs> Yo, let's hear for our first responders, all right? Yeah. 
Oh, shit. All you second responders can suck my dick. You smell, motherfucker. Oh, I'm a responder, but I'm so fat. I wish I was the first responder. Guys, the funniest comedian of the night almost every single show is literally dying. And he does it every single fucking week. I can't explain how hard it is. I can't explain to you. He doesn't need to do what he does. He did two and a half Kill Tony sets tonight for no reason. Other than to entertain you people. It doesn't even make any fucking sense. Yeah. What's up, Well, Mike? I have a lot of free time. <laughs> oh! 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 oh. oh. Wait, is he He's hurt? injured, Dice Clay. Oh, oh. That's why it makes sense. He's injured, Dice Clay. He's not Andrew Dice Clay. He's injured. Oh! <laughs> Those are owls, not O's. Oh! Oh! <laughs> My sciatica. Yeah. Blue Cross Blue Shield. Oh yeah, they fucked me. I gotta tell you guys, I'm gonna I'm just gonna share a thought I just had with you. The episodes since we've been canceled have been so much more fun yeah. than the episodes oh. than before. I don't know how to explain it. It's I, like I just found myself. I've been sitting up here cracking up all night. It's like we unlocked something. Yeah, we really did. I'd like to thank Pang Dang for this. Uh, it, <laughs> Pang, yeah. if you're Thanks, watching Pang. here on camera one, really, I know that you thought you were going to get a boost from this, you fucking son of a bitch. But really, I mean, thank you from the bottom of my fucking heart. Anyway. Michael Lair, I don't know what to say, man. You did it again. What else? You got um, anything else to tell these yeah, people? Um... No, man, I'm, I, uh, my nurse said that if I don't drink before I perform, she'll give me $200. Okay. So I'm uh, ready to start fucking drinking. Yeah, Michael. Michael, if that's what it takes, then someone will always give you $200 yeah. to not drink. I didn't realize you were such a cheap date, but uh, but holy shit. I mean, you always do great, but goddamn, dude. You're fucking in it. You're supposed to be doing worse every week, by the way. I don't know if anyone told you this, but... That's true. Other than your doctors, <laughs> but maybe... But well, you know, um, I'm lucky that um, Medicaid... Covers five A's of uh, cocaine. <laughs> Michael Lair out here, Austin resident, the first guy to move to Austin, Texas on Team Kill Tony. Michael Lair, comedy.com. Everything Michael Lair is there. Shout out to Alex Jones. You guys know where to find him. The Alex Jones Show. Very easy to find. Thank you to Joe Rogan and Duncan Trussell for making a cameo. A hangover-style cameo on Kill Tony tonight. The drawing from Ryan J. Ebelt is absolutely unbelievable. I'm the Joker. Red Band is Catwoman, and Alex Jones is Bane in this one. Wow. Those of you that are here might want to go to RyanJEbelt.com and buy it. Remember oh. this night that you were part of the show. I look sexy. How about a hand for the band? Matt Mueling, Michael Gonzalez, and D Madness. Shout out to the Red Rose and the Yellow Rose. If you guys are going to strip clubs, if I ever find out, if I ever fucking find out that anybody that comes to this show ever goes to a strip club other than the Red Rose or the Yellow Rose, I'm banning you from entering Vulcan Gas Company. A place where, as you've seen tonight, literally anybody is allowed to perform. I'm not going to let you watch a show here if you ever go to another strip club. Thank you to CM Smokehouse at Bolden Acres. Thank you to Don Julio. Thank you to Yoni at Best Barbecue Show. Thank you one more time to the band. Thank you to Whistle Pig Whiskey. And thank you to our amazing sponsors that stuck by us through all this chaos that we've gone through. 
But most importantly, most importantly, as we know, because we are the number one live podcast in the world, thank you to you guys, the audience members, for coming out tonight. We absolutely love you. Good night, everybody. Thank you so much.